and welcome to the Oklahoma Hiker YouTube channel. Today, I am heading to the heart of the Upper Kayamichi River Wilderness in Southeast Oklahoma via the Kayamichi River Trail on all trails, which isn't a super official trail, I don't think. You can see it's a little bit of a path here right off of Highway 62 in Southeast Oklahoma. Uh, and then I'm going to be heading east on the Washita Trail uh, following the banks of the Kayamichi River and then maybe heading up just a little bit uh, up Rich Mountain uh, and then turning around. So should be, I don't know, something like a 12 to 15 mile path. Depends on how far I want to go. Uh, but this is a beautiful area of the state and I'm really looking forward to exploring it. Let's go. <music> a mile in you do reach a bushwhacking point where your old trails app is going to help you find the route to take at about the 1.4 mile mark you are finished with the bushwhacking thankfully uh, and you do reconnect with this little road here so it makes the going a whole lot easier You know, I don't think I could have picked a better spot to stop and have a little snack before we head out onto the Washita. Once you reach the uh, Kayamichi River, this is where we're going to turn east and head toward the Arkansas state line. Probably not going that far today, uh, but the Washita Trail is going to follow right beside this beautiful Kayamichi River. Well, after a little bit of breakfast there at the Kayamichi River, I went ahead and crossed the river and used the All Trails app to show me uh, where I needed to cut through the woods to join with the Washita Trail. I successfully did that and came upon this sign, uh, which shows that the Pashubi Trailhead is that way. And uh, the way that we're gonna go is headed to the Arkansas State Line, which is about six miles from here. I'm not gonna go all the way today. Uh, but we're going to get a good portion of the way there and follow the Kayamichi River through the wilderness area. Let's see it. Well, at mile four, I have intersected the Kayamichi River for what I believe is the fourth time. And this is the first time since mile two where it has had a small pool of water. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up here for the journey ahead.
at mile 4.8, there is another water source. Uh, and there was one actually between here and where I filled up. So the situation is looking a little better now. So far today, I started here, parked here, and I came around here into the wilderness and intersected with the Washita Trail here. Now I've followed all the way over to here at this point. I'm going to stop and have a little bit of uh, food, and then I'm going to check out these scenic views up here, but I don't think I'm going to hike all the way up to State Line. That adds another six miles, and I'm just not totally up for that. Uh, this may add about four, but uh, not so bad. made it eight miles into the second of the scenic overlooks and guess what they're all grown in uh, so come during leaf off and maybe you'll see something I'm getting like tantalizing peaks through uh, through the leaves uh, and it looks really pretty so I may go up and do uh, what is it highway one route one something the Talamina scenic drive on the way out here uh, to make up for the lack of vistas on the trail but eight miles in that means eight miles to go better get hoofing it Downhill, that's where it's at. I'm back to the sign, which means I've come down two miles from the uh, scenic overlooks, which were pretty overgrown, but that's all right. I am going to uh, stop here and have some snacks, uh, refill on the water. Before I head back, I have four miles to the west and two miles to the south to go from here. Well, 15 miles in, you know what that means? Nothing. Now nah, it means I've got about a mile left. 
So earlier I said that there was a bit of a bushwhack at the beginning, and there is, according to the trail map. Well, this time I decided to try some of these old forest roads that are back here. Uh, one looked like it was going to go in the direction that I wanted to go, and so I checked it out. And sure enough, it met up with the forest road, uh, primitive road, whatever you want to call it, that you begin on. So, no bushwhacking necessary. Next time I try this, All right, well at 15.7 miles, you get back to the automobile that you drove here. I'm so ready for a cheeseburger and a giant chocolate milk. That's like my after hike go-to. Anyway, key takeaways from the trail. It was nice. I think it's lacking in the big view that some people might be hoping for, but going up to the scenic uh, overlooks on Rich Mountain eh, gave me a little tease. I think at Leaf Off it would be really pretty. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of a walk in the woods. It's pretty. You're going to get lots of spider webs. I ate them all day long. Um, and make sure that you wear pants. Uh, there were lots and lots and lots of poison ivy plants, lots of briars as well. And some of the path is just generally overgrown. Still, it's a beautiful trail. And I hope that I get to hike the rest of the Washita Trail at some point. It is like 220 miles, I think. And I, I've done little sections of it, but never a huge chunk. So looking forward to that sometime in the future. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you'll like it and subscribe to the channel. Everyone helps. And of course, I hope you get yourself out on a hike anytime now uh, before the summer wanes and the fall, though up the fall is a great time to hike too. So, you know, hike all the time. Anyway, that's it. Have fun. Bye.